Yeah. All right. Well, we live on live on TikTok, uh, live on Twitch, and live on YouTube. You're with the Fantasy Gods here, Justin Henry, Daniel Norgard. Dan, bro. let's get into this week nine, bro. Hey, we week nine, man. We ready? Let's go. Let's win some. Let's win. I'm I'm excited, man. Let's do it. Yes, sir. So if you're following along from TikTok, make sure you head over to YouTube and Twitch. That's where you can get both of us. And there's been some injuries. Let's go into these injuries real quick, man, because uh, I think it's going to impact a lot of teams. Obviously, Kyler Murray being out is going to impact a lot of teams. Christian McCaffrey is back. That's going to impact a lot of teams. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins looks like he's banged up. Debo Samuel looks like he's banged up, man. What are your thoughts on all these injuries? Uh, Because there's a lot going on right now. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, you know, you don't like to see these superstars, you know, be injured and not play. The league is better when everyone is at full strength and you get the 100% of the team versus 100% of the team. That's what we want to see. But unfortunately, you know, Kyler Murray d is out. I'm going to be pretty much fading all Cardinals in this game. Yep. Uh, so I, I would be benching them. I actually would be okay with starting the Niners defense in this game. I think the yep. Niners roll uh, big time. Niners, yeah, I think start, I think benching a lot of the passing game options for the Cardinals is probably the best way to go. Uh, a lot of questions about Rondell Moore this morning, a lot of questions about Christian Kirk. I don't feel good about starting him, but you're probably in a pinch if you are starting him, so I don't blame you. Just don't expect D-hop type numbers. I think they go to the run game there with the Cardinals. So if you're on, if you're on TikTok uh, right now, we are moving to Twitch and YouTube, so Feel free to answer any of your questions on there. We're going to get to those questions first and try to get some questions in. Uh, Christian McCaffrey questions are coming in. My guy P and I asked for that. Uh, Christian McCaffrey questions, Dan. What are your thoughts on Christian McCaffrey? I am of the the group that starts him. I'm like, hey, you can't bench guys like C-Mac. And just when they're in the lineup and they play, they just have too much potential. What are your thoughts on C-Mac this week? I, I can expect about a 15-point game. Yeah, I think – I mean, I mean, he's all, his floor is always 15 um... – which is incredible from a fantasy perspective. Uh, right. you got, yeah, absolutely right. You do not bench uh, guys like Christian McCaffrey. He's the number one player for a reason, average for a reason. This is going to help not only him. It's going to help Sam Darnold. It's going to help yep. DJ Moore. I do not do not bench Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, Dan says, do not bench Christian McCaffrey. I'm in the same boat as him. Uh, if you guys are on TikTok, make sure you hop on to YouTube and Twitch to get the full conversation. Uh, another question came in about Tua, man. What are your thoughts on Tua and his impact in this offense? Obviously, he just got he got um, uh, inactive. He's inactive today. He's not going to be playing. So Jacoby Brissett is going to be in the lineup. Are you fading some of these passing options now for the Dolphins? What are you doing with them? Well, I definitely like Mike Gusecki uh, in this game. Typically, you know, with kind of lesser tier quarterbacks, uh, they kind of rely on their tight ends, short area passes. Waddle is right. a short area pass yak guy. So, um you know, I wouldn't say that his ceiling is high, but, you know, his, his floor is still going to be low. Right. Um, and Jacoby Brissett is a uh, a player that has been around the league. He's a veteran. So, you know, yep. if you're going to trust anybody, you can try, You can kind of trust that floor in a sense. You're not going to have the ceiling, so I'm not going to pick up Jacoby Brissett, but I don't, I'm, I'm okay with, like, the Miles Gaskins getting catches, Gasecki having a solid yep. game like he normally would, and, and even Waddle. I'm okay with them. Yeah, short passing games. Gasecki, uh, Gasecki, Gaskin, Waddle all coming in there. So if you are on TikTok right now watching, we're having the full conversation on Twitch and on YouTube. I'm going to answer some questions right now, rapid fire for you guys, though. Make sure you guys follow us on the other platforms, though. But I'm going to answer some of these questions. Zach Moss, Sutton, or T. Higgins? Uh, I think you got to go with Cortland Sutton in that one. Uh, Dak Prescott or Justin Herbert? I like rocking with Dak Prescott, even though the passing game options are banged up for Dallas. Cut one, Elijah Mitchell or Kadarius Tony. I'm not cutting either of those guys. They're both going to stay on the lineup, but I'm playing Elijah Mitchell over Kadarius Tony today. Uh, and then last one I'm going to answer from TikTok, Rondell Moore, Van Jefferson. I'm going with Van Jefferson over Rondell Moore today. Now we'll be answering a question live from YouTube. If you guys aren't on YouTube or Twitch right now, head over there. You will guaranteed get your question answered on YouTube or TikTok and we'll, or on Twitch. I'm sorry. And we got... A lot of time, an hour till game time. So we'll be answering all the questions. Jackson Wattman from uh, from YouTube asks, pick one, Waddle, Jerry Judy, Hunter Renfro, Devontae Smith, or Van Jefferson. Who you like, Dan? Wow. Um, you know, that, that that's a tough one. I'm going to say, actually, it's going to be Hunter Renfro in this one. Uh, I just like I just like the floor. The floor is the safest out of, out of him, out of all those guys. Um, if you're going to go upside, it's probably going to be Jerry Judy for me, but – um, I just think Renfro's in a good spot. No Henry Ruggs. Uh, yep. You know, Waller is coming back. So 
there is, you know, he's he's not going to see he's not going to see the attention that he's been seeing over the past couple of weeks. Um, so I like Hunter in in this game um, to be the kind of the safest, highest floor. There you go. Yeah, I like Hunter Renfro a lot this week too, but I probably would still go with either Waddle or Judy, and I probably would pick Waddle just for the safe and pass. A safe pass floor. I wouldn't mind if you started Hunter Renfro, though. They're asking, what's the YouTube? The YouTube is in the link in our bio. If you just go to our profile, they're in the link in the link tree. It'll go right there where the uh, Fantasy Gods on YouTube. So if you just search Fantasy Gods, we should pop up. Uh, but if you want a direct link, just go into the bio of our platform, and you'll see the YouTube link. Next question from YouTube, we got Nick Chubb or Elijah Mitchell today. Good question. Uh, I probably am still going with Nick Chubb in this one. I'm not benching Elijah Mitchell. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I can't bench Elijah Mitchell. Hopefully you can start them both. Um, but it's super hard to bench Nick Chubb, who's a superstar talent at the running back position. Elijah Mitchell is doing a fantastic job. And it's kind of, honestly, if, if Jamar Chase was not really available, he's kind of in the realm of rookie of the year as far as offensive player. Um, can that He has that type of ability in that situation to make him fantasy relevant and this, that, and the other. But um, I'm going with Nick Chubb. Gotta there's, no way I'm, there's no way I'm benching Nick Chubb. I love it. I love it. Another one from YouTube. We got Zach Moss or Chuba Hubbard or Elijah Mitchell, full PPR. He's asking for all three of those. Zach Moss, Chuba Hubbard, Elijah Mitchell. Uh, I'm probably rocking with uh, Elijah Mitchell out of the all three. Who you got, Dan? Yeah. I'm, I, unfortunately, I have to agree, man. Uh, you know, we don't always try to agree, but hey, <laughs> Elijah Mitchell is, is the play there. Zach Moss, I think he's going to have a good game because – I think the Jacksonville Jaguars are, are just going to get blown out. But um, yep. you definitely can't start Chuba with McCaffrey back. And and so and Moss is splitting time. Elijah Mitchell is the Facts. workhorse back, and he's going he's gonna to be good. All right, I'm going to try to answer a couple here. We got some from uh, from TikTok I'm going to try to get to real quick, and then we'll go to this question right here, Dak or Herbert, uh, in a little bit more detail. Appreciate you, Jalen, for tapping in with us. Nick Chubb or CMC? I think I'll go with Nick Chubb in this one. It's that's a tough one, man. I think either way you're good, but I I would go with Nick Chubb. He's one less week removed away from an injury, so I like Nick Chubb a little bit better in that one. Uh, Rashad Bateman or Marvin Jones go with Rashad Bateman. Tyrod Taylor or Jacoby Brissett, give me Tyrod Taylor in that one. Rashad Bateman or Marvin Jones, give me Rashad Bateman. Uh, he said, can't watch y'all on YouTube or Twitch. Yeah, just click the link in the bio. Both of the links are there. Deontay Johnson or Keenan Allen, give me Keenan Allen in that one. Uh, Julio or Mooney. I probably start Darrell Mooney. All right. So we're back to the YouTube. Do you trust Elijah Mitchell to get enough snaps for a good outing today? Yes, I do. I think that they'll still get him involved. Uh, back to YouTube. We got Jalen Miller with the question, Dak or Herbert? Dan, you've had a little bit of time to sit on that one. Who you got and why? Yeah, um, I still got Dak in this game, I think, uh, just because, you know, he, he's, he's having a great year. And I know these wide receivers are banged up, but I mean, Denver lost Vaughn Miller. Um, yep. They're still good defensively, but, you know, not as good as they could be. And I, I just think that they roll, man. So I just – something about Dallas, and they're just playing at a phenomenal level. They're playing with all-time confidence and all-time highs. Dallas should roll in this game, and Dak should be good. Yeah, and I think the YouTube, uh, I think the uh, the Dak thing is, is more – people are fading Herbert right now, and with good reason. He hasn't been playing very well. So it's kind of one of those things where, are you starting to panic on Herbert? I think we're just seeing a little bit of regression that's normal when it comes to second-year players. So when you got second-year players like Herbert, you can expect some of that. I, th I think you roll with Dak in this one, even though he's coming off of a, you know not playing last week, coming off the injury. Still a good start. Uh, is Elijah Mitchell healthy? I think we are rocking with – if he plays, you have to value him as healthy. You have to think he's going to be the number one running back for the Niners. Get him in your lineups if he's playing, 100%. And then the last one uh, from Twitch, we got Zach Moss or Devontae Booker. Uh, who are you rocking with, Dan? Got to go with Booker still. Um, he's, again, the only guy there. He's going to get all the touches, all the carries, all the catches, all the red zone, everything. So it's hard to – Sort of play a Zach Moss type of player when he's splitting carries. But I, I do believe Zach Moss is going to have a good game yep. against the Jacksonville Gap Jaguars because I think they're just going to blow him out and they're going to stick to the run and, and just run. But it's just Dude, for fantasy. Yeah, for fantasy, it's just tough because, you know, you want guys to touch the ball. And, and Devontae Booker is going to have that one last week. And I think Barkley comes back next week. And so you have to roll with the last one. You picked him up for a reason. Barkley right. down, so roll with the guy. No, great point on Zach Moss, man. I think that anybody that's starting him against the Jags has to know that kind of information. And if you're not watching us on, we are on YouTube, Twitch, the links is in the bio. I'm going to get to some some TikTok questions in just a minute. We got some questions from YouTube we're going to get through first, and then I'll get to TikTok questions. But if you want to hop in and get your answer, uh, your answer guaranteed, it's in the link in our bio right now. Make sure you subscribe and follow too. 
Uh, and I, I would go with Devontae Booker in that matchup. Just I, I think the work is a little bit more guaranteed than it is with Zach Moss. Does Mike Williams' injury concern you at all this week in the matchup? Uh, I think Mike Williams already, owners are already complaining a little bit of the inconsistency. So if you have him, chances are he's your wide receiver three or flex. Dan and I talked about this a couple days ago. Uh, I think you have to play him, though, if, if you don't have any better options. Yeah, same way. I, I'm, I'm rolling with Mike Williams. Let's go. We got a lot of questions here from YouTube, so let's get to them. Waddle, Devontae Booker, or DJ Moore, I'm assuming, not DK Moore. DJ Moore, Waddle, or Devontae Booker, who are you rolling with? Um, I think Booker is probably your safest play. Uh, but if you're going to go upside, I would say DJ Moore in this game. Yeah. Again, McCaffrey coming back is only going to help DJ Moore. When McCaffrey was out, DJ Moore is the second best player on the team offensively. The tension should be less. So I'm hoping I'm, – I'm thinking – that DJ Moore has a bounce back game this week. Yes, he and he did mean DJ Moore. I'm I'm playing the same too. Devontae Booker, DJ Moore, especially with the news that uh, Tua is out. All right, we got to go kind of rapid fire here. We're getting backlogged. Start Judy, Waddle, Renfro. Pick two, Dan. Uh, I'm going to go with Renfro and Judy. Renfro and Judy. I'm going to go with Renfro and Judy as well. I like those two. Sanders or Brandon Cooks, full PPR? I don't think Sanders is playing, so I'm going to say Brandon Cooks. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders. Oh, Manuel Sanders. He's, I'm still yeah, going Manuel Brandon Sanders Cooks. Tyrod Taylor's back. 100%. I'm going with Brandon Cooks as well. I'm not, I like Emmanuel Sanders, but his floor is a little too low for me. Uh, Hollywood Brown or Adam Thielen from YouTube? Omar. Still Thielen. Touchdown. Thielen? Yeah, I think I go with Thielen as well, and I think Bateman's going to have a bigger role than people think. Appreciate the question, Omar. From Gabriel from, from YouTube said, Boston Scott or Callaway at the flex? Oh, man, that's tough, ain't it? Both ugly. I would say Scott for me. I just – Going out on a limb. Don't play yeah. either. <laughs> Don't either. I'd say Scott. Yeah, I'd say ball. Scott. Not feeling good about it, bro. I, I wouldn't feel <laughs> yeah. good about it either. Jalen's asking, does he start Bengals defense? Uh, I don't see why not. If you don't have any other options, any better options, I, I feel like yeah. you got to go with your gut, man. Yeah. Uh, you. let's see. Last one from YouTube before we get to. I'm gonna rapid fire from TikTok in just like one minute. Uh, Ayuk or Van Jefferson? Tough. I, I would say Van Jefferson because Woods is still kind of iffy. Um, so I like Van Jefferson in the game. Yes, sir. I'm going to rock with Van Jefferson as well. Cole's up next from YouTube, but I'm going to answer a few from TikTok right now. Uh, flex McNichols or Peterson. You're flexing McNichols right now. I think McNichols gets more of the guaranteed work uh, than, than Peterson will this week. That situation could be fluid, but I'm going with McNichols this week. Judy, Claypool, or Myers. We're getting a lot of these questions. I would probably rock with Judy, then Claypool, then Myers. Uh, start Dak this week. Yeah, you can start Dak. Tua got benched. I didn't make QB. Look for Jordan Love. Uh, last case scenario, if it's a super deep league, you're looking at Simeon, but you should be able to get Jordan Love. Um, Renfro or Patterson, half PPR. Go with Cordero Patterson. I don't mind if you start Renfro, though. Trade Kamara. We're not doing trades right now. Renfro or Patterson, half PPR. Just answer that. Bateman or more. Go with Bateman. Uh, let's see. Appreciate the questions here, guys. Renfro or Patterson, half PPR. Just answer that one. Uh, Patterson for sure. Uh, let's see. Trade Kamara, Deontay Johnson for Aaron Jones or DJ Moore. Not or DJ Moore. If you got them both, I'd do it. But I wouldn't do it for for one. If you do, if you could get, I like the Kamara side better. Uh, Khalil Herbert or Van Jefferson PPR. Go with Van Jefferson. Got Tyrod. Solid start. Yeah, go ahead and start Tyrod. You feel good about it. All right. Back to YouTube and Twitch. We got Barry. What's good, Barry? Oh, no, no. I had you already locked in, my man. Cole Morrison. I got Cordero Patterson and Devontae Smith for Marquise Brown, Darrell Williams, and Tony Dan. Feel like he won, or he won the deal or no? Um, yeah, I think so. I think that that's a good deal. I like um, I like Marquise Brown. Hollywood Brown is just – I mean, he's impressed me uh, this year. Yeah. And, you know, with Lamar, you know, that offense, I really do like that. I think Patterson, you know, has – He's been doing great. He's phenomenal as far as, you know, early production. But he is yep. also a type of player where you could see, like, super sell high. So I think that's right. a good move. And I like I like Darius Tony later on in the season to kind of just take away that wide receiver one role. Super explosive. So uh, And they're going to be throwing. They're going to be down. So I'm yeah, on the like Cordero the side. I, th I think that Cordero is uh, just a locked-in running back running back one right now. You can't take him out or wide receiver two or three. Like I just feel like he has so much versatility and Devontae Smith will get a click in at some point. So I don't mind the other side. So I play Brian Edwards over Kirk if Murray doesn't play. I would play Brian Edwards over Christian Kirk. Yeah. Brian Edwards. Do I start Bengals defense? We got that one locked in. Uh Williams or Tony, which Williams are you talking about? I'm assuming Javante Williams 
over Kadarius Tony. I probably would go with Kadarius Tony for the upside. Yeah, I like Kadarius Tony in the game. A uh, quick one from YouTube, uh, from Tw- from uh, TikTok. Sorry, we got all these platforms going. Herbert or Burrow? Who you got? Herbert or Burrow? Um, I'm gonna go with Burrow. I just think he's having a better season and just rock with a more consistent guy. Yep, I'm right there with you. Pick two: Boston Scott, Robert Woods, Bobby Trees, as they call him. Uh, Bobby Trees, Emmanuel Sanders, Jerry Judy, Jacoby Myers, or Rashad Bateman. Uh, I'm gonna rock with. I think even Roe Robert Woods is questionable. I'm still – I'm not taking him out of my lineup, and I'm probably going with Jerry Judy. Or yeah, I, I'm with you. I um, uh, Just to see that, you know, Robert Woods is having a great year. Um, not not the year that we expect, but, you know, he's solid with Safford. And then Judy is just your upside player. Like, he, he has potential to be a monster. Yes, sir. Smith says, what's good, Dan? He said, what's up to Smith's you, man? Yeah, yes. our boy Smiz, man. If you're hanging out with us on TikTok, you can see full conversation with Dan and I on Twitch and YouTube. We're trying to build our presence on there as well. So if you dropped us a follow, it help us out a lot. Uh, we're answering all questions. Any questions that come in from YouTube and Twitch, we're answering those with priority. Uh, CD Lamb has joined in from YouTube. <laughs> What's good, CD? Uh, can Jefferson, Keenan Allen, or Jalen Waddle Waddle? Hmm. Ooh. Are we talking uh, about a dance here? If we're, pl- we're talking about the players. I think you got to either go with Jefferson, Keenan Allen, or Waddle. I think you're going with uh, Justin Jefferson, then Keenan Allen, then Jalen Waddle. Yeah, I, I think oh, so. Oh, Van That's Jefferson. Probably. He's saying Van Jefferson, oh, Jefferson. Keenan Allen. Well, Keenan Allen Waddle. always starting, never yes, Keenan, Keenan Allen. Allen. So that's that. Uh, if it's just one of the three, then I'm just going to roll Keenan Allen. I'm not even looking at the other players. Yeah, Keenan Allen for sure. That's locked in. He's over there texting him before the game starts. Right. Uh, Jalen Miller asking, Cooks or C.D. Lamb? I'm still going with C.D. Yeah, you got to go with C.D. He took a lot of practices off. You know, he twisted the ankle in practice. Um, they'll wrap him up. They'll shoot him shoot him in the ankle. He's fine. Yep. Uh, McNichols question real quick. Uh, McNichols, you fire him in your lineups. I think he gets a lot of guaranteed work this week. So if you're asking questions about Jeremy McNichols, I feel good about him today. Today is probably the best time to play him. Uh, I got Cordero Patterson, Devontae Smith for Marquise. We answered that one. Flex Chubb or more? Nick Chubb or DJ Moore, I'm assuming. Who you like, Dan? It's still Nick Chubb. Um, you know, again, I, we got to see DJ Moore have a, a, a bounce back game. While I do think that he ha- he's in a prime spot, I'm still – I'm not benching Nick Chubb. Yeah, I play Nick Chubb as well. Brian Edwards or Christian Kirk? Struggling on who's a safer play. I think the safer play is honestly Christian Kirk. Uh, I think the higher upside play is Brian Edwards. So and when we're talking about upside, that means the potential for more points. So when we're talking about Christian Kirk, he's probably going to get four to five catches guaranteed. I can see something similar with Brian Edwards. When we talk about upside, we're talking about the touchdown upside and just like the yardage upside. If he gets a big play, it wouldn't shock me. Christian Kirk seems like the safer play, meaning that he doesn't have as low as a floor and he doesn't have as much as a, of a ceiling as well. And that's uh, just kind of answering Omar's question here. What do y'all mean by upside? So just a little bit of insight there as to what we mean by upside or potential versus floor. It's just a low amount of points and high amount of points. Some players kind of stick around their range. That's consistency, safe plays. Higher upside plays means they can score more points or have a lower amount of points. Uh, And he meant Mike Williams for that question. I think we answered that one, though, pretty well. Uh, T. Higgins or Devontae Smith, who you like? Uh, I still like T. Higgins in the game. I think he's just having a better year. Burrow's a better quarterback right now. Go T. Higgins. T. Higgins as well. And I'm going to answer TikTok questions here in another two minutes. So bear with me, guys. Two minutes, I'm going to answer the rest of these YouTube, and then we're going straight to TikTok. Uh, If you're on TikTok and you want your question guaranteed answered, hop onto YouTube, give us a subscribe, a follow, whatever it is, and uh, we'll guaranteed answer your question on there. Uh, With Woods' injury from our guy Potter, what's good, James? Uh, Woods injury and possibly limited is Van Jefferson a good play? Yeah, I, li- I like him as an upside play this week, man. Van Jefferson as an upside play to me is is a, a good play. If you're in a pinch, man, if you have better options, don't force him in your lineup. But I like Van Jeff, uh, excuse me, Van Jefferson in as a flex option. Yeah, same same thing for me. Um, Got to go with Van Jefferson. Uh, I think he's just you know with Deshaun Jackson gone, he's gonna have more snaps. Um, and you know, Robert Woods may have a couple snaps off. They just kind of limit him into like kind of good plays, big plays, big situations. Yep. So you might see Van Jefferson in two wide receiver sets more than he would normally play. And you like that for fantasy because he's getting more opportunity. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Kadarius Tony or Jarvis Landry? I'm an upside guy. Give me Kadarius Tony over Jarvis. Who you like, Dan? 
Yeah, I think uh, Darius Tony is is in a prime spot. With Galladay coming back, he should see less coverage. So yeah, I like Darius. Tony. But Jarvis ain't a bad play either. With uh, with obviously with Odell out, I, I feel like Jarvis is going to get some guaranteed looks. Uh, how much will CMC play from our guy UJ? Sorry if I butchered that. Appreciate you coming in. Uh, how much will CMC play snap count? We haven't seen any reports yet. You're assuming that he's going to get at least some guaranteed work. They want to work him in the fold. I'd expect somewhere between 10 to 15 touches. So if he had, you know, six carries, three catches, something along those along those lines, I would assume, and that's only nine, I know. My math was fucking off. I don't know why. Early in the morning, man, trying to go through this <laughs> stuff rapid fire. But I would expect somewhere between 10 to 15 high-volume touches, uh, good touches, especially some red zone stuff. I think they get him worked in pretty well. Yeah, I mean, you don't. I, I, I'm on the same. I'm the same path, man. And I just think that look at the end of the day, if McCaffrey is playing, you just play him. It doesn't matter how many touches he has. He could have one touch and go off for an 80 yard touchdown. It's just that's who he is. So yeah. don't worry about the pitch count. Don't worry about the snap count. He's starting to play him. All right, rapid fire time. Who do we start for flex? Booker Jacobs, Darrell Williams, Judy Sutton, or Edmonds? Non PPR. Uh, I think non PPR. I'm going with uh, Josh Jacobs for sure and probably Cortland Sutton. Yeah, I'm going to go with Jacobs, and uh, I'm going to go actually non-PPR for me is going to be Daryl Daryl Williams. I think he's going to get a Williams? touchdown. Yeah. All right. Mike Williams or CeeDee Lamb? Give me Mike Williams. He's a little more healthy. Yeah, I- I'll go with Mike Williams. I think um, CeeDee's going to have a good game, but I think Mike Williams is the play. Yeah, I don't, I don't really uh... – I don't really feel good about that answer, though. D-Hop or Kadarius Tony? I'm going Kadarius Tony. If Kyler was playing and D-Hop, I don't even know if D-Hop. Yeah, I don't think D-Hop is playing, so I'm going to go with Lock Kadarius in for Tony. sure. I would go Kadarius because we don't know what D-Hop's looking like. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about George Kittle? Fire him in your lineups. You probably don't have any better tight end options. If you do, start your better tight end option. But I'm, uh, I feel good about starting him in the lineup. I think he'll get some work today. Oops. Yeah. How you feel, Dan? Same? Same way. Um, start Kittle. Okay, start Kittle. D Hop or Kadarius Tony just answer that one. I have two of starting. Top of the waiver is Daniel Jones, Tyrod Taylor, or Brissett. Which one? Uh, I probably would go with Daniel Jones. Yeah, I like Daniel Jones, but I wouldn't hate it if you if you put in Tyrod Taylor. I think he's, you know, probably excited to be back. And uh they're gonna be throwing since Ingram left and you know, they're just gonna mm-hmm. be throwing. Appreciate you, Aaron, coming in on Twitch there uh, from YouTube. UNC is awesome. Dame Harris or Kadarius Tony. That's tough because you're going with safe for upside. So if, I think if you have a, a solid lineup, if you're projected to win and you feel good about your options, go with Damian Harris. If you're coming from behind or you're a lower seated team and you need some points, go with Kadarius Tony. Yeah, same thing. Go with Harris, safe, Tony's upside. There it is. Should I pick up McNichols and waivers for Ricky Seals Jones? I have Friar Myth. He, he has passed his bye week. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like McNichols, get him for Ricky Seals Jones. Uh, George Kittle, we just talked about him looking good. Um, I think get him in your lineups if you don't have any better options. Uh, if you came in from Twitch, or if you came in from TikTok, appreciate you guys. We're going to answer a couple TikTok questions and then get back to YouTube and Twitch. So fire away right now on TikTok. I'm going to go rapid fire. Damian Harris or Boston Scott? Get Damian Harris. Short King, I'm going to take that as a compliment. Appreciate you. Uh, Robert Woods or Kadarius Tony? Uh, give me Kadarius. Give me Kadarius. Actually, give me Robert Woods, man. Go with the safe side. Robert Woods over Kadarius. Uh, Woods, Bateman, Mooney, who do I start? I would go in that same order. Woods, Bateman, then Mooney. I think they're all pretty much wide receiver three options. Debo or Thielen? PPR, go with Thielen. Hurts or Big Ben? Go with Jalen Hurts. Renfro or Van Jefferson? Go with Renfro. Uh, Bobby Woods or Kadarius Tony go with Woods. Just said that. Uh, Jarvis or Kenny Galladay? I think you go with Jarvis. And then last one from TikTok: Sutton, Julio, or no, that's too much for me to read right now. Boston Scott or Hollywood PPR? Go with Hollywood Brown. If you can follow in with us and you trying to get your question answered, we are on Twitch, on YouTube right now. We're going through every single question uh, right now. We've answered every single question so far that's coming through YouTube and Twitch. So if we miss it on here. Go to, Twi- go to Twitch, give us a follow, go to YouTube, give, uh, give us a sub. All right. So ask this question right here from YouTube. Uh, Omar asked Stafford or Mahomes. Dan, who are we rocking with, man? God, so hard. I mean, Mahomes is just a lord. How do you sit that guy? Um, I'm just going to say Stafford, man. I think, uh, you know, bright lights, Sunday night football. You know, the Titans are off a devastating loss of Derrick Henry. Their, their spirit should be down. Rams are just crushing teams with, you know, they got Vaughn Miller, so there should be more offensive snaps for the Rams with a with a superstar, you know, on the defensive side. So go with Stafford, man. He's going to be dominant again. 
Yeah, you got Stafford. I ain't, I ain't mad at you. Y'all going to go Mahomes, though, man. I, I expect a big bounce back week from Mahomes. Travis Kelsey against the Green Bay team. Uh, I feel like that's the, the perfect start for them. Uh, go with Mahomes on that one on my end. Sam Brown said, good morning, OG. What's popping? We got the Grays. I got the Grays, man, so I guess I am not OG. You ain't there yet, Dan. You still you still got a few years. Uh, I got a few, man. I got a few. Coming in. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Kittle or Schultz? YouTube from Jet asked, Kittle or Schultz? Um, I'm a rock with probably Kittle on that one, man. I just like Kittle. I'm a more of a Kittle fan. I feel like they're similar tier to me at this stage. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb on the other end and say Schultz because I think Dak Dak likes Schultz. Um, he does. When he was when he was in, you know, Schultz getting a lot of targets. CD Cooper, they're kind of banged up. You know, and and Kittle, you know, he's first game back, so it's kind of like a we'll see. Kittle is the better player. Right? Yes, Schultz might be the better play this week. All right, I like to stick with the better play, but I, I ain't mad if you start Schultz, Debo, Montgomery, Julio, or Myers uh, in a different league. Debo or Thielen? So I think in the first one you're asking, I probably would just go with Debo and just stick with them. In the second one, I would go with Thielen. Yeah, I'm the same way. I think Debo uh, should should be doing well. I know he's banged up, but if he's playing, you, you got to start your studs. And then uh, I do like Thielen though. Thielen is just he's a monster. It was different, man. Pick two. Agnew, Edwards, Bateman, Van Jefferson, Mitchell, Ayuk. Man, that's loaded, bro. Uh, James got us got us good with that one. I'm going to go with uh, probably Bateman and Van Jefferson. Uh, probably Mitchell, excuse me. Mitchell and Bateman. Maybe Van Jefferson if I'm Mi- feeling good. Mitchell for sure is the play there. You can't bench Mitchell. Um, I'm probably yeah. going to go with Van Jefferson too. For sure, for sure. Uh, let's see. Sutton or Gaskin, PPR? Who you like? I like Sutton in the game. Uh, I think they're going to be down. They're going to be throwing, and Sutton's just – he is the wide receiver one there until Judy takes over. Um, yep. Gaskin's just hard to hard to, hard to to trust that dude, and then he's got, you know, uh, Bursette as the quarterback. So go with Sutton. Yeah. Yeah, I go with Sutton in this one uh, just with Jacoby – Jacoby starting that game. You just never know how game script's going to go or game flow. They probably changed it up this week. So uh, I would go with Sutton just for the guarantee work. If you're on TikTok, we are on Twitch and YouTube streaming live. Irv, what's good, my man? Uh, he said Lamb or Cooks in the flex, Brody. I'm going to answer your question real quick. Uh, let's go with CeeDee Lamb still, man. CeeDee Lamb, yeah. Brian Edwards or Dar- uh, Darnell Mooney. Let's go with Brian Edwards. With Tua out, do I sit Waddle for Adrian Peterson? Absolutely not. And then Jimmy G or Brissett, I'm down bad. Go with Jimmy G. I don't feel good about that answer, though. Kadarius Tony or Brandon Cooks? Go with Brandon Cooks for the uh, safe play. All right. Back on to the YouTube and Twitch. Man, we are loaded up here with questions, so let's go rapid fire. Uh, Singletary or Freeman? Man, it's rough out there right now, huh? Singletary for me. I think they just roll, and, and again, they should get the run game going. I like Singletary in this game. Yeah, I'd rock, I'd rock with Singletary and, and not feel proud of myself afterward. Sorry about spam. Wasn't thinking. See you guys. Hey, appreciate you, Jet. Thank you for tuning in. And we're just trying to get to the questions as best we can. Muhammad said, we back. What's popping? What's, What's good, poppin'? my dude? Yes, sir. Ari now said, Debo, Montgomery, Julio, or Myers? And Oh, we just answered that we one. We did that one, yep. He said, you skipped me twice. You just got to wait a second, man. We're trying I to get through a lot day. of questions, Brody. Devin, he said, what's good? Uh, SF defense or Ari? Arizona and Devin is one of the homies in the uh in our Discord. If you want it free Discord, the link is in our bio along with the YouTube and Twitch. Uh if we're looking at Arizona defense or San Francisco defense, um, I probably would rock with Niners defense today, man. Just going up against Colt McCoy, I feel good about that. So I would I would rock SF defense. Yeah, Niners defense. I just think the Niners are gonna win this game. So if you if you guys are betting, I like money line Niners in the game. Money line Niners. I ain't mad at that. Uh wow! Pick two wide receiver and flex. Rashad Bateman, T. Higgins, Boston Scott, Bobby Woods. He's locked in there. Uh, Brian Edwards, Ayuk, Daryl Williams. Um, I would go with man. Edward. I would go with Woods and what? T. Higgins. Me yeah. personally, Woods and T. Higgins. Yeah, I'm with you. I can't can't disagree. Here we go. Uh, or Schultz too. I forgot who his first one is. I think we got you on that first one, uh, James. Sanders or Beasley? Who you like better today? Sanders or Beasley? I like Cole Beasley, just guarantee. He's just having, you know, got better rapport with um, Josh Allen. He's been there for a longer. Uh, and Sanders that's a Bills fan of, talking. Yeah, I just like Cole Beasley in this game, man. So go Cole Beasley. 
Bills fan talking says pick Cole Beasley over Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, Christian from YouTube says Galladay or Rondell Moore. Uh, I'm probably going Galladay, man, just because I feel like you can get more guaranteed. Rondell Moore, if he doesn't get the big play, uh, which he might, I just don't see it with Cole McCoy. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna manufacture touches for Rondell Moore this week with with Kyler Murray out, but. I still like Galladay coming back off the injury, uh, presumably healthy, and I have to treat him as the better player. So, Galladay. Love that answer. Love that answer. Uh, Muhammad asks, Tony is fully healthy with Shep out, so should I start him over one of Sutton, Higgins, or Jamar Chase? Uh, I don't think so. I think you're just keeping those three in and letting Tony show you that he's fully healthy. Yeah, it's tough to have Higgins and Jamar Chase. Um, hopefully, you know, it's like one of the last weeks to do make trades. I would try and see if you can make a deal to get rid of Higgins for something else. Yeah, that way you're not starting them both from the same team. Good point, Dan. Uh, forgot, is Agnew a must-pickup? I don't think he's a must-pickup. I think he's a must-watch, though. It goes with him and Tajay Sharp. Kind of take a look. If you have somebody on your on your bench that you're looking at dying to get rid of, you can get Agnew, get Tajay Sharp. Those are kind of options you want to just keep in your mind. I would want to see it one more week before wasting a pickup on him or dropping somebody that's important to your bench. Yeah, Agnew for me is someone you you probably pick up in Dynasty. Uh, Ethan asks Moss Clay. Oh. Sorry, I have a little connection issues there. My bad, man. You good? Moss Claypool or Waddle for the flex? Who you like? Um, I like. I still like Waddle in this game. I just feel like he's going to get like six to seven catches, just short area, you know, yak catches, and I think that may be just enough to to beat out all the other guys yep yeah okay i'm with that christian said appreciate y'all yeah appreciate everybody who's come from tiktok over to the youtube and twitch you're getting the full combo over here make sure you guys subscribe uh, and and i'm gonna answer some tiktok questions in just a second we got about three four more twitch youtube questions and then i'm gonna get to the tiktok questions so hang in there with me if you guys are tuning in uh robert woods or keenan allen i'm going keenan allen on that one yep keenan allen can't can't bench that dude uh, is Allen Robinson for Odell a good trade? Yes, I actually like that trade. I think both players are kind of down right now, almost like borderline droppable. I think Odell with the right team has more upside. Allen Robinson, you're waiting for a connection with Fields. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. I would, I would definitely trade that. We got a homie BD said Van Jefferson or Judy Jerry Judy. I gotta go with Judy. Tyrod Taylor or Tannehill. I'm gonna go with. Uh, actually, We're rocking with you know Hill, man. I'm gonna go. On a, I'm gonna go on a limb, man. I like Tannehill, but I'm gonna say Tyron <laughs> Taylor. He's back. They're playing the. Hey. They're playing the Dolphins, man. He he's gonna show up. Tyron Taylor, bro. Book it. Book it right now. Book it. All right. All right. So Dan likes Tyrod in that one. Hyde, Lavisca, or KJ Osborne. The flex go with Carlos Hyde, 100 percent in that one. Yeah, Carlos Hyde. Yeah, BD said thanks, guys. And then last one from YouTube, real quick before we get to TikTok, I'm going to ha- answer these right now. Deontay Johnson or Keenan Allen, I'm assuming that is. Uh, I'd probably go Deontay Johnson. Yeah, I like Deontay, man. He's just he's a stud. Um, it just, you know, yeah, go with Deontay. All right. Well, we got about 20 minutes left before the game starts. I'm going to rapid fire through a bunch of these TikTok questions. They've been coming in. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us on here. Darnell Mooney or Rondell Moore, go with Darnell Mooney. Uh, Bateman, Brian Edwards, or James Conner at the flex. I like Bateman a little bit more than Conner. I think Conner gets involved in the run game, though, but he's so touchdown dependent, it's tough. Uh, those would be my two options there. Niners or Panthers go with the Niners all day. I'm a Niner fan. That's the only answer I'm ever going to give you. Deontay Johnson or CeeDee Lamb rest of the season? CeeDee Lamb. I think it's very similar value, though. Elijah Mitchell or Carlos Hyde? I like Carlos Hyde today with James Robinson out. Derek Carr or Kirk Cousins? Give me Kirk Cousins. Russell Gage or Peoples Jones. Give me Peoples Jones for the upside. Appreciate you, Jake. Yep, got you. Bateman or Tyler Boyd. Go with Rashad Bateman. Do I start Debo Samuel? I think you start him if you don't have any other options. If there's some other options you have, go ahead and get him in your lineups. Uh, Get them in your lineups over Debo, I should say. Uh, To start two, Boston Scott, Edmonds, Connor, or Gaskin. Uh, Go with Connor and Gaskins. If it's not PPR, go with Edmonds and Gaskins if it's PPR. Pitts or Kittle, go with Kyle Pitts. He's the number one there. Brandon Cooks or Amari Cooper, go with Brandon Cooks. Uh, I like Amari Cooper too, so that's a tough decision to make. I feel like you're going to have to make a tough call there. Uh, Go with Brandon Cooks, so Tyrod back. 
Christian Kirk, Zach Moss, or Emmanuel Sanders? Uh, go with Christian Kirk first, then Zach Moss and Emmanuel Sanders. Sanders' floor is really low. And then last one I'm going to get from TikTok, uh, Texans over Dolphins. Nah, we still rocking with the Dolphins on that one. That's a good question, though. Uh, James Potter said, I'm nervous starting Mitchell for some reason due to the injury from Twitch. He said, uh, I'm kind of nervous starting Elijah Mitchell. Don't be. If he plays, he plays, man. That's the one thing about, about players when they're injured, they play. What you think, Dan? Yeah, you know, I don't I don't have any problem with Elijah Mitchell. He was given the superstar treatment, you know, this, this whole week. He was, you know, rested, rested, rested. He's out there. He's going to play. And, again, I like the Niners in the game. I think the Niners will win. So, you know, I you know, I don't – who cares about Jeff Wilson? Jeff Wilson is a, you know, career nobody at this point. Go with yeah. Elijah Mitchell. He should be – he should be fine. 100%. 100%. And then hi, LaVisca, we answered this one. Hi, LaVisca, KJ Osborne in the flex, man. So let's kind of – let's softball some of these ones now. There's 20 minutes of game time. We got TikTok questions in here. Nothing from YouTube and Twitch. If you're on YouTube and Twitch, we will guarantee to answer your question. The link is in the bio. Um, Make sure to follow, subscribe. But we're going to go to these TikTok questions and kind of answer them. Dan, I'll let you get into on these. Uh, Joe Burrow or Justin Herbert, who you like? Yeah, I think we answered this uh, earlier. So, But uh, I think for me it's still going to be Joe Burrow. Burrow? Um, I, yeah, I think that he's just having a good year. He's consistent. Um, he's got the weapons. I just like Burrow in the game. Yeah, I, I probably would go with Joe Burrow as well. Uh, Zach Moss or Cortland Sutton? I still got to go with Cortland Sutton. I think, you know, he's the he's the alpha wide receiver until Judy proves it. And, um, you know, they're going to be down. They're going to be throwing. Zach Moss should have a good game, though. I yeah, I, I agree 100% with you. Zach, uh, Zach Moss is a good option for, for the matchup. You made a hell of a point, but I still would go with Cortland Sutton in that one. Renfro or Bateman? Uh, who you like, Dan? Renfro or Bateman? I still like Renfro. I want to see Bateman prove it to me. Um, and Renfro should honestly just have a, a really good game. I really like him in this game. Dan says Renfro. I like that answer, man. Uh, let's see. Renfro. But Bateman, yeah. I think Bateman, I think Bateman's gonna do well too. James says, I want to put my application in on being a god. Takes a lot <laughs> to be a god, man. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get you in the God's League next year, though. The God's League is in full you effect. Have to no, come in look, the God's League. And looking and at one and two follow, right here. Exactly. Those that follow, that I mean, they know. I mean, we 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 are gonna have maybe maybe even two leagues next year, hopefully, man. We yeah, it was so much yeah. fun this year. We're still having a blast. But one and two. Come Number on, one man. And two, you guys got to beat us. You guys got to beat us, man. They talk, a lot of, they talk a lot about beating us, but somehow we're still number one and number two in the league, man. Crazy. All right, back to YouTube questions. We got a few. Uh, Cortland Sutton or Gaskin in the flex? I'm rocking with Cortland Sutton on that one. Who you got, Dan? Yeah, still Sutton. Um, can't go with Gaskins, man. He's too inconsistent. Would you guys start AP over Singletary and Freeman? Mm, man, rough. No, it's rough I in wouldn't. the streets right nope, now. I know, super rough. I'm still going Singletary again. Singletary. Um, yeah, the Jags should be killed by the Bills, and uh, I like Singletary in the game. I can't start AP. I, I mean, no, AP not to AP me, is, he's not ready. I don't think he's ready. Yet. And if Latavius is bur- uh, Latavius is back, I'm not starting Freeman. Damian Harris or McCaffrey, full PPR. I feel like you got to start McCaffrey if you need the upside. Damian Harris, to me, though, is a safer play. Like, you know he's locked in. So that's a tough one, man. I probably appreciate that question from Twitch, Eastern Village. Um, Damian Harris, man, I, I, it just depends on your team, man. I feel like if you need the points, you got to go with McCaffrey. If you have the locked in better team, go with Damian Harris. This is not even a question. It's McCaffrey all the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why this question is out there. Damian's, um, hey, Damian Harris has been playing good, though, bro. Damian Harris. I don't care about Damian. You start C Mac. <laughs> I can't start C Mac, bro. What are we talking about? Yeah, man. I'm trying to give. I don't know. I don't know. It's <laughs> Kadarius Tony or Jerry Judy, man. A lot of Judy questions. A lot of Kadarius Tony questions coming in today. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go with Judy. I think uh, Judy again. They're gonna be down. They're gonna be throwing. I like Judy in the game. I, Kadarius Tony is a is a stud, but you know I gotta go with Judy. I think he's just a better player, better situation. Yeah, I like Judy, too. I, I like the upside. If you need the upside, though, go with Kadarius Tony. All right, back to TikTok. I'm going to answer a few. Uh, we are 20 minutes away from game time. Make sure you guys get your lineups locked in. Don't be watching us and miss your lineup. So, uh, Kittle or Goddard? Rock with Goddard. I think that's a good enough option to play over Kittle right now. But Kittle's going to get some work, too. Uh, Beasley or Bourne? Go with Beasley. Uh, LaVisca. Let's see. I just missed that one. LaVisca, Goddard, or Kirk? Uh, I rock with Kirk. 
on that one. McNichols or Carlos Hyde? Give me McNichols. I actually like them both very similar, though. McNichols and Carlos Hyde. Uh, Marvin Jones or Ayuk? Ugh. Who do you like? Marvin Jones or Ayuk? You know what? I actually like Ayuk in this game. I think that Ayuk has an opportunity to kind of step up with Debo, maybe on a pitch count, maybe even Kittle on a pitch count. Um, again, I like the Niners in the game. I, yeah. I was a betting man. I take the Niners, so I All like right. Ayuk in this game. He showed Damn. a lot of good – Got a lot of good team teamwork uh, last week with his blocking. Uh, I really, yes, sir. I, I dig. Yeah. Hey, Dan says Ayuk. You got to rock with Ayuk, man. Dan don't miss. Boston Scott or Chase Edmonds? Rock with Chase Edmonds in that one. Jerry Judy or Cole Beasley? Rock with Jerry Judy. He's fully healthy. Kittle or Mike Gusecki? Rock with Gusecki, man. Don't take him out of your lineups, even though uh, two is out. Cole Beasley or Nicole Hardman? Go with Cole Beasley. Hunter Renfro or Kadarius Tony? I like PPR, and in a, sh- a safe format, you want to go with Hunter Renfro. Uh, if you just need some massive upside, go with Kadarius Tony. Don't bench Amari Cooper for Kadarius Tony, though. Uh, Boston Scott or Hunter Renfro, or are you going to Hunter Renfro in that one? Javante Williams or Carlos Hyde? Let's go with Carlos Hyde in that one. Uh, James is asking from Twitch, he's asking, when do you think Denver will finally go with Williams? And we've been talking about this for a few weeks, man, because you want to go with the talent. Dan, what's your evaluation right now on this Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon thing? You think it lasts the whole season? Yeah, it's tough because Melvin Gordon is not your average kind of veteran. I mean, he is just – he's productive his whole career. I mean, he's been great. Uh, I would say that he's, you know, over the last, you know, five years, he's, he's just he's just been consistent. He's smooth. He's not like, you know, he's not a, a guy that's going to go crazy uh, with points, but he's just so – he's just a good – player to have on your squad so you know it's very difficult to kind of edge out and you know get away from him so I think yeah Yeah. it's going to be a it's going to be a problem if Melvin Gordon unfortunately goes down with like an ankle injury or something like that it's going to be great for Williams but I think it's kind of going to last and but but Williams will be productive with these touches yes sir yeah I think it would take unfortunately would take an injury for that to happen appreciate the love I missed who that was appreciate the love on that though that was dope um Oh, was my guy Jake from State Farm. What's good, my man? Appreciate you guys. All right, I'm going to answer a couple more from TikTok, and then we're going to get to these last YouTube questions. 15, 10 minutes left in, before game start. Make sure y'all get your lineups in. Uh, I'm going to answer these rapid fire as much as I can. I don't do kickers. I'm sorry. I can't answer that one. Uh, Judy or Tony, go with go with Judy on that one. CD or Deontay Johnson, go with Deontay Johnson. Amari Cooper or Brandon Cooks, go with Amari Cooper. Booker or Waddle, go with Devontae Booker. Galladay or Ayuk, uh, go with Kenny Galladay. I like the upside a little bit better. Elijah Mitchell, uh, who's that? Elijah Mitchell, Jeremy McNichols, or Khalil Herbert. Go with, uh, in that order right there, Elijah Mitchell, then McNichols. I like McNichols a lot this week, though. Uh, Cooper or Cooks? Cooper or Cooks? Amari Cooper, still go with him there. Claypool or Landry? We're going with uh, Landry for the safe play. Man, they're coming in hot, coming in hot right now. Uh, Waddle or Jeff Wilson? Let's go with uh, Waddle on that one over Jeff Wilson. Let's see him get a roll first. Christian Kirk over Myers. Hey, and if you guys aren't tapped in with us on Twitch and YouTube, we're answering all the questions there. So I know you guys are trying to get them in rapid fire. That's the easiest way to guarantee get your question answered before this game right now. Woods or Tony, go with Bobby Woods. Jared Cook or Kittle, go with Kittle. Mitchell or Carlos Hyde? Uh, That's a tough one, man, a similar value. I'm probably still going with Eli Mitchell in that one over Carlos Hyde. Mari Cooper or Tony, go with Cooper. Jarvis Landry or Tyler Boyd, go with Jarvis Landry 100%. Uh, and then last one from TikTok, we're going to do Adrian Peterson or Melvin Gordon. Go with Melvin Gordon in that one. Hop over to the Twitch. Hop over to YouTube. We're going to get these last questions answered, kind of talk about the week ahead. So, Dan, we got this last one from Twitch right here. Eastern Village says, I have Khalil Herbert, David Montgomery. Do I start Javante Williams or pick the Bears running back once the full Montgomery report is released? What's your thought on the David Montgomery thing, man? It seems like he's going to have an impact on the game. Yeah, I mean, he was looking good in practice. That's what I heard. Um, you know, I, I got to roll with Montgomery if he's going to play. So, I mean, if, you're, if your team is, you know, very, very safe and you want that, like, high, on a higher upside uh, for fantasy, I don't know that it's tough because, you know, the Bears are playing later. Um, yeah. I just I like Montgomery, though, if you're going to go with anybody. It's tough, man. I feel like I, I, I like – you at least you got both. You got Khalil Herbert and Montgomery, so you just want Khalil Herbert this week over Montgomery to make him see what uh, what he has. 
Uh, James Hawkins from YouTube asks, Conklin, Uzoma, Beasley, or Landry at the flex? I I personally would go with Tyler Conklin. I think he has a role there with the Vikings. And I probably would roll Cole Beasley over Landry. Who you got, Anthony? Yeah, I, I like both, uh, Conklin and Beasley. Conklin and Beasley. Let's run it. Let's run it. From YouTube, we got, would you guys start AP over Singletary and Freeman? Yeah, I think we answered this question, but I'm going to go with Singletary again, just against the Jags, the Bill should roll. Bill should roll. Love that answer, man. Uh, should I give Brian Edwards a week to see what he does instead of starting him right away? It just depends on your lineup. Um, if you have room for him at your flex, get him in there. But I would I would kind of steer – I think you're on the right track there and benching him. Let him see what his role is going to be now that Henry Ruggs is out the lineup. Ten minutes until lineups are set. But I like that situ I like that setup, that mindset. Uh, James Hawking asked, oh, we, we just answered this one. He said, thanks, guys. Yes, sir. We're here to answer the questions for you guys. Kyler is out. Tyrod, Mayfield, or Jacoby Brissett, who are you rocking with? Tyrod, man. I think he's going to be. Tyrod. Tyrod's going. He's going Tyrod hammer. it is. Tyrod sure. it is. And if you guys haven't subscribed on YouTube and Twitch, we're answering questions every Sunday morning. First on that platform, second on, on TikTok, if we can get to you guys. Julio or A-Rob, I'm going with Julio in that one. Tyler Boyd or Julio? I'm still going with Julio on that one. All these Julio questions, man. Julio or DJ Moore? I'm going with DJ Moore. Going with Dan's guy, DJ hey, Moore. There you go. Uh, who you like, Eli Mitchell or Carlos Hyde today? I like Eli Mitchell. I just think he, you know, Eli? He's, the, he's the better player and he's the he's on a better team. Uh, I, I see why people like Carlos Hyde. You know, he's going to get all the touches, but I, I got to go with Eli. Eli. Yeah, if you guys aren't following along, look, this is the setup right now. I'm going to give you guys a little insight. Got Dan over here answering questions, man. We're on YouTube and Twitch answering all this stuff. So if you guys give us a sub on there, follow on there, helps us out a lot, man. We're trying to hold it down for y'all. Uh, OBJ question here, what to do with them? I think you keep him on your bench until you find out what team he's on. Once you find out what team he's on, then you, you make your decision. But I think he's an excellent high, like that's the high kind of upside pick you want for your wide receiver, wide receiver three or flex position. Sorry, I'm a little tongue tied. We've been talking all morning. Uh, from Twitch, Dan, who you like, man? Julio or McNichols this week from Gorgeous Four Twenty? I mean, I gotta go with Julio. I can't, I can't bench Julio for McNichols. I think you know McNichols is no? a sexy play. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't do it. Um, Nichols is a sexy play, but uh, I'm gonna go with Julio Jones. He's just he's Julio, man. How do you bench him? How do you bench Julio? I think you bench Julio this week and put in McNichols. I think you get the good PPR back. Uh, so uh, to me, it seems like he has locked in work. They're gonna have to try to work in AP. I would get McNichols in the lineup, but I am mad at you if you get Julio, man. It's tough to tough to ever say bench Julio Jones, one of the greatest receivers of all time. Uh, Amari or Keenan Allen, who are you rocking with? Amari or Keenan Allen, uh, I'm going to go with Amari Cooper. I think he's just having you know, a phenomenal season as well, and they're yep. going to roll, so Amari Cooper. Dan says Amari. I say Keenan Allen. Devontae Adams or A.J. Brown? I'm assuming this has to be DFS. Who you like? Oh, A.J. Brown, man. A.J. Brown. AJ Brown? Yeah, I like A.J. A.J. Brown. Dan says A.J. Brown. I'm rocking with Devontae Adams, even with Jordan Love. I think he's going to get some guaranteed looks there. Cousins or Lamar? Can't bench Lamar in this situation. I'm going with Lamar. Dan is shaking his head. No, he's in agreement. Uh, Lamar, you can't bench him. Waddle or Cooper today? I think you go with Cooper. Don't bench Amari Cooper. Uh, Van Jefferson, Darrell Williams, or Julio Jones? I think Dan and I both are on the Julio Jones train on that one. Yep, shaking yep. his head in agreement. Dak or Stafford, who are you rolling with today? Going with Dak. 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 Dak it is. Bro, answer my question for real. Tyler, throw it in there one more time. Baker, Kyler. I'm thinking of Baker, Baker or Kyler. Kyler's out today, so that's a bad question. Got to have a good question, and then I'll answer it, man. Kyler is out today. Uh, Tua is out today. Make sure you guys get them out of your lineups. Jeremy Sanchez from YouTube asks, Keenan Allen, Deontay Johnson, A.J. Brown starting, CMC on my bench. Do I start CMC and for who? Uh, I, I mean, you're always you starting CMC. Uh, if you're who are you bench, benching then? You're benching one of the three wide receivers. Uh, well, then for me, I'm probably going to bench um, – Man, I'm gonna bench. I'm gonna bench Deontay Johnson. Uh, oh, you mentioned Deontay? For CMC. For CMC? Deontay. I'll let CMC I show me a week. I, I'm not benching those guys. Keenan, Deontay, AJ Brown. Oh can't man, do can't do it, man. That's a can't tough move, it. man. That's a can't tough move. It. Hey, better you than us, Jeremy. All right, let's see. Judy or Thielen at the flex. Who you like? Uh, Thielen, still, still Thielen. Thielen. Yep, I'm with you on there. 
Van Jefferson or Tyler Boyd? Rock with Van Jefferson on that one. This is my type of live. Hey, we here. We here, baby. Make sure you make sure you follow us on the Twitch and the YouTube too, man. We're trying to grow this thing, man. Thielen or Diggs? Rock with Diggs, bro. I don't, and that's a tough case, so I'm assuming it has to be DFS. Try to get both of them in your life if you can. Mixon or Boston Scott? Go with Mixon. Tony or Judy? Half point PPR. Who you rocking with, Dan? Uh, Judy still. I like Judy. Uh, he's a better player, so I'm going to go Judy. Judy it is. Judy it is from both of us, man. We got five minutes till game time. He said, not Keenan. You're not benching Keenan? Nah, I keep Keenan in the lineup too. PPR yeah. especially. Non-PPR, I think you start C-Mac over Keenan. That's a good point. All right, from TikTok, Renfro or Beasley in the flex? Who you rocking with? Renfro or Beasley? I still like Renfro in the game. I'm going to go with Renfro. Dan says Renfro. I'm rocking with Renfro. Uh, Kittle or Judy at the flex? Rock with Judy. I do like I like Kittle this week too, though, man. Renfro, uh, we just answered. Bobby Woods or Damian Harris? Robert Woods. Uh, Kittle or Melvin? Rocking with Kittle. Uh, let's see. Appreciate the follows, guys. Uh, let's see. We got five more minutes till game time. Make sure you ain't with us. Make sure you get in your lineup straight up. Waddle or D-Hop? I think you go with Waddle. Uh, D-Hop, to me, is too shaky right now. I'm, I'm not sure I'd play him. Uh, Bateman or Galladay, who you like, Dan? Um, I like Galladay in the game. I think Galladay, Galladay? is com- coming back. He's healthy. And right now, I just presume he's a better player. So, go Galladay. Dan says Galladay. I say Bateman in that one. Galladay or DJ Moore? A lot of Galladay questions coming in. DJ Moore. DJ Moore. DJ Moore for both of us. When do you guys rate teams, man? We'll do, maybe we'll rate teams on Tuesday nights. We have a God's cast on Tuesday nights. So if you're paying attention, uh, make sure you follow. We're on Tuesday nights. We do Sunday mornings as well. Tyrod or Hurts? You go with Hurts in that one. Uh, Gaskins or Waddle at the flex? Roll with Waddle in that one. DJ Moore, Jacoby Myers, go with DJ Moore. DJ Moore, Mike Williams, Dan, who you like? Ooh, uh, that's a good one. Um, I'm still going to go with DJ Moore. I think he has a bounce back game with McCaffrey back. DJ Moore. Dan says DJ Moore. Donovan People Jones or McNichols? McNichols. I mean McNichols Peoples all Jones. Day? Yeah. No, nah, I'm I'm good. Like he it, Peoples Jones is a good play, but um, you know, I with with Odell out, I just don't see it. So Yeah, McNichols from both of us. Brandon Ayuk or Devontae Smith. I think we're rocking with uh that's tough, bro. Uh, yeah, it's tough. I like Ayuk in the game. I think Ayuk, Ayuk? is gonna, yeah, I think he's gonna he's gonna do a good game. He's gonna have a good game. All right, Dan says Ayuk, it is what it is. Kelsey or Kittle, go with Kelsey. Boston Scott or Carlos Hyde, go with Carlos Hyde. Waddle or Hopkins, go with Waddle over Hopkins today. Elijah Mitchell, Miles Gaskins, go with Elijah Mitchell. CD said, all right, guys, enjoy the game. Bye, peace out, man. Appreciate you tapping in with us. Thank you for uh, for being there, man. If you haven't followed us, we're on every Sunday morning doing start and sit. Uh, Try to rapid fire for these games start. Dan, sorry about the hold, man. Elijah Mitchell or Miles Gaskins? Elijah Mitchell it is. Who you like? Mitchell, Mitchell. Mitchell. Dan says Mitchell. Just fire away. If you hear the question, just fire your answer. I'm going to repeat it out. Yep. Uh, Mitchell or Renfro in the flex? I like Renfro. Mitchell. Dan says Mitchell. Mike Williams or McNichols? Mike Williams. I like Mike Williams too. Dan likes McNichol, or Dan likes uh, Mike Williams too. Canarius Tony or Claypool? Uh, Tony. Dan says Tony. I'm rocking with Tony on that one too. Uh... Love or Tyrod today? I'm going Jordan Love. Who are you going with? Ty God, baby. It's always Ty God. Let's go. Dan says Ty God. Ty God. Chubb or CMC? Ooh, that's a tough one. Chubb or CMC? I'm going with Chubb. Who you got, Dan? McCaffrey. Can't do it. Dan says McCaffrey, CMC. Says CMC for Deontay it is. Let's go. Appreciate you, Jeremy. Good luck today, man. Says James says you two kill it every Sunday. Good luck, number one and number two. Keep it going. Yes, sir. First and yep. second place in the God's League. We're doing this, man. Let's go. All right, a few more questions. You guys got two more minutes, so get your lineup set. Don't worry about us unless it's for the la- the afternoon games. Carlos Hyde or McNichols? Uh, I'm going Carlos Hyde. Who you like, Dan? Yeah, I think Carlos Hyde's going to have the majority of the touches. So I know it's going to be a bad game against the Bills, but I just got to wait and see on McNichols. They're really similar to me. So Dan says hide. I say hide. But I, they're really similar to me. I could probably waver back and forth. You ask me three more times, I might give you different answers each time. Uh, Elijah Mitchell or Devontae Booker? Uh, I'm rocking with Devontae Booker. Who you like? I still like Elijah Mitchell in this game, man. I just, you know, he's going to be – it's going to – I don't know. Elijah Mitchell, man. <laughs> Dan says Elijah Mitchell. Yeah. Dan says Elijah Mitchell. A.J. Brown or Claypool? I think we're both going with A.J. Brown on that one. 
Kenyon Drake or Boston Scott? Going with Kenyon Drake on that one. Yeah, Kenyon Drake. I think he's going to get more touches. Dan agrees. Devontae Booker or Boston Scott? Do it, go with Devontae Booker. I know Dan agrees with that. AP or Tyler Boyd this week? Who you like? I like Tyler Boyd. I can't. I can't trust AP. Dan says Tyler Boyd. I feel like they're both misses though, so I would go AP. Just hope he gets a touchdown. Uh, Chase Edmonds over Bateman in the flex. Uh, I ain't mad at that. Or is that Chase? Ed- yeah, Chase Edmonds or Brian Edwards? Uh, Chase Edmonds. Yeah, Edmonds over Bateman. Yes. Yep, Evans over Bateman. Both agree. Edwards or A Rob? I would go Brian Edwards. Yeah, I like Brian Edwards, man. I think he has an opportunity for touchdown. Dan says Brian Edwards as well. Robert Woods or Brandon Cooks? Uh, Brandon Cooks. Ty got the back. B Cooks. I like Woods. Dan likes Cooks. I like Woods. Kittle or Cole Beasley? One more minute left, guys. Go get your lineup set. I'm going uh, with uh, Cole Kittle. Beasley. Who do you like? Kittle. Dan says Kittle. What do we do with Debo? He says, help. What do we do with Debo? I think you play him if you don't have any other options and just wait it out, man. If you got somebody else that can come in the lineup, go get him. Yep, same thing. Play him. Dan says play him if you can. Uh, T. Higgins or Jarvis? Uh, T. Higgins. T. Higgins it is. T. Higgins, play him. Mooney or Bateman? I'm going Bateman. Bateman. Dan says Bateman too. Renfro or Emmanuel Sanders? I'm going Renfro. Renfro. Dan says Renfro. Man, when we agree, you know it's lit. You know it's money, (laughs) baby. Moneybag J says, appreciate the answers. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Follow, man. Help us out on the Twitch and the YouTube. We're trying to grow. It's 10 o'clock. Lineups are set. Dan and I didn't even get our lineups in. Appreciate y'all, man. Uh, Absolutely, Johnny. It's good. said Renfro Emmanuel Sanders. I think we went with Renfro on that one. Sanders or Beasley. We both went with Cole Beasley on that one. Appreciate you guys tuning in to the God's Channel, man. Show us some love if you can. Any support helps. We're going to be tapping in with you guys on Tuesday. Maybe even later tonight I'll get on, man. Uh, we're for sure going to be tapping in with you guys on Tuesday night uh, to answer your guys' start sit questions, any pickup, ad drop questions. So make sure you guys follow along. Keep showing us love. The gods, we out. Peace.